you work it. Yeah. No diggity. I got the bag it up. Bag it up, yeah. I like the way you work it. Yeah. No diggity. I got the bag it up. Bag it up, yeah. I like the way you work it. Yeah. No diggity. I got the bag it up. Bag it up, yeah. I like the way you work it. Yeah. No diggity. I got the bag it up. Good morning, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to another video. As you will be able to tell by the title of today's video, this one is all about, okay, Tiger, are you okay there? As you will be able to tell by the title, today's video is me documenting my week of eating a raw vegan diet. For those who are new to my channel, first of all, hello and welcome. My name's Amanda. Second of all, I am already vegan. My usual diet is very intuitive based. I just basically eat what I crave and that is typically more starchy foods, lots of healthy fats and honestly typically I don't eat that much fruit. A raw vegan diet is pretty straightforward. It is essentially absolutely no animal products and absolutely no cooked food. Anyway, we'll get into the video. I hope you enjoy this one and yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to sharing this raw vegan journey. Okay, so Monday morning and first meal of the fully raw vegan for a week. I just made myself a smoothie. I usually start my day with a smoothie anyway, so it doesn't really feel unfamiliar to me. The only difference is I usually put coconut yogurt in my smoothies and I'm confused as to whether coconut yogurt is raw or not. I'm presuming that it's not. Anyway, in this morning's smoothie, I have bananas, strawberries, spinach, raw hazelnuts, raw cashews, and water, and that's it. I did get quite a few messages on Instagram when I talked about the fact that I was going fully raw vegan for a week, and quite a few people were thinking that I was gonna do like a fruitarian type of diet, which I'm not. Like, maybe I'll do a challenge of being a fruitarian at some point, but for now, I really want to make sure I'm still eating like avocados and nuts and seeds because I really like eating fats. So yeah, I'm just mainly interested to see how my how my body reacts to just a fully raw vegan diet. And people have been telling me that I need to make sure I'm chewing a lot as well. Okay, so I think it is about 12.30 p.m. now. I definitely don't feel as full as I usually feel when I have a smoothie with like coconut yogurt and plant milk and stuff in it. I think I'm going to have to like make my own milk for the week because then if I'm just using raw nuts and water, I'm presuming that's classified as raw, I mean. Why wouldn't it be? I might get some dates as well to sweeten it. That would be nice. Anyway, I was really feeling something savory for lunch today. My intention was sort of to have more fruit and smoothies, but yeah, I'm just really feeling savory right now. So this is what I'm having. I just made a salad. It has cos lettuce, broccolini, asparagus, tomato, cucumber, lemon, and pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds. I also tried to make like a cashew feta type of thing it didn't super work out but it still tastes good it's just raw cashews garlic and lemon juice and a bit of water blended together and yeah this is what i'm going to have for lunch today i've also been getting a lot of advice to have snacks on hand because apparently hunger sort of kicks in like a lot quicker than it does when you eat cooked foods. So I might go pick up some snacks from the supermarket today because I don't really have much on hand at home. I just basically have bread and tempeh, which are not raw, obviously. I'm heading to work now, but I just went to the supermarket to get a couple of things and I got some peanut butter that uses raw peanuts rather than roasted peanuts because I noticed that the one that I have at home uses roasted, which obviously isn't raw. Um, I still feel like I have a bit to learn about like how food is cla classified as raw, but to the best of my knowledge, I think that peanut butter is all good as long as it's just like legit, just peanuts that have been turned into a butter, I think. <laughs> anyway, so I got that. I also brought to work with me a whole jar of pumpkin seeds because I'm finding I'm craving lots of savory food and pumpkin seeds to me are like pretty savory so I'm gonna bring those to snack on and then at work I think I'm gonna try and make a big smoothie or smoothie bowl and hope that that fills me up because it's like 2 30 right now and I am really 
hungry. So yeah, I feel like I need to smash like a huge smoothie and then hopefully I'll feel more content. This is definitely going to be an experience this week, that's for sure. Okay, so day two of the fully raw vegan diet experiment is here. And this morning I woke up feeling really, really good. Like I felt really refreshed and energized and I felt really healthy like in my body, I think is the best way I can describe how I was feeling. So that was pretty good. I also, when I woke up, wasn't super hungry, which is different for me. I usually wake up really, really early and I'm hungry as soon as I wake up. Whereas today I waited for a few hours before I ate anything. For breakfast this morning, I went out with my friend to get an acai bowl, which was really, really easy. I just had no granola, of course, and I made sure the peanut butter that I had on top was made from raw peanuts and not roasted peanuts, and it didn't have any additives. So that was actually really, really easy, and I had fresh fruits on top, which was very cool. I had that, and it satisfied me, but now I'm at this point where I'm like, all I'm really craving is savory food, and I'm finding it hard to get creative with savory raw food so i think that's definitely something i need to look into with all of that being said i'm just about to go to work for the rest of the day so i made myself a smoothie this is literally just bananas and strawberries and water and that is it it's sort of like a fruit sort of slushy which is really good really appealing because it's quite hot at the moment and then i also made myself a dip this is just like cashews almonds lime coriander garlic and water and that's it and i blended it up obviously the nuts are raw and i'm going to go on the way to work and buy a whole bunch of carrots and potentially some other vegetables and just like dip them in and snack on that whilst i'm at work today but overall i'm feeling really good and i'm honestly really enjoying the whole raw food experience a lot more than i anticipated i would okay so fully raw day three it is today I woke up this morning so hungry, uh, yeah, I'm super, super hungry and I unfortunately wasn't very well prepared and didn't do like a huge grocery shop, I've just sort of been taking it as it comes, so this morning I woke up and just snacked on some strawberries just to sort of get the hunger to subside. Overall though, besides the hunger, I feel really good and like confident and strong in my body i think is the best way to describe it like i feel really healthy like i said i don't have a whole lot going on in my fridge and freezer and cupboard at the moment so i'm gonna head out for breakfast this morning i'm just craving chocolate so so bad so i'm gonna have like a raw cacao and banana smoothie bowl i think and hopefully that will um yeah keep me nice and satisfied so i byo'd bowl and got myself a chocolate cacao smoothie bowl with raw pb and berries and hemp seeds on top and i'm gonna literally dive right into this i am so hungry this morning so it is almost 2 p.m and i'm only just getting hungry now after eating a really big cacao and raw peanut butter like smoothie bowl for breakfast it was really 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 good really satisfying i feel like i like basically inhaled it to be honest i'm about to go to work for the rest of the day so i've packed myself two containers full of food because i've found so far the main issue with raw to be that when i'm out and i'm hungry i'm like where can i find raw food essentially so i am prepared today so the first thing i did was cut up a half of a watermelon and i've just got some lime and passion fruit to squeeze over when i decide to enjoy it and then over here i have what is looks like just greens and is just greens it's just lettuce spinach broccolini and what i've done is i've massaged through a whole avocado with some lemon and garlic and spring onion i've got some extra lemon and some sesame seeds on top in the hope that that fills me up a bit more with some fats but yeah still so far so good i'm still feeling a lot 
better than I thought I would. I'm looking forward to experimenting more with raw food. Like I would love to go out. There's a raw place to eat um, sort of relatively near me that I would really like to go and try. And I'd also love to do some more creative cooking with raw food. So that's what I'm hoping to get into in the next few days. I'm also really, really craving vegan cheese. Like I don't know why, but like today, today as soon as I ate chocolate, it's like after that, all I wanted was vegan cheese. So I might have to make like a cashew cheese zucchini pasta thing. I don't know. Good morning. Welcome to raw day four, which is, it's, this is like the hump day of, of the week for me. This morning I have woken up and maybe TMI, but my digestion is like, a mess this morning I'm in so much pain and I honestly think it's because of the watermelon because I feel like every time I eat watermelon this happens to my body I don't know if there's some kind of science behind that but like man that is <laughs> that is definitely how I feel this morning it's actually really early right now it's like 6 a.m. and I am driving for a couple of hours this morning when I went to the grocery store yesterday to pick up some more food for the week I realized that yellow nectarines are finally in season and yellow nectarines are my absolute favorite fruit in like the whole entire world so this morning because I was up really early and basically running out the door I have just bought three yellow nectarines with me and I'm pretty much just going to snack on these three yellow nectarines this morning and then hopefully when I get home I can make a big smoothie. I still can't stop craving like cacao and chocolate and stuff so that's interesting. I don't know if there's any science behind that either but anyway that's the update for this morning. I've honestly found that I've just been eating lots of fruits and lots of raw veg because that's what's been the easiest thing to eat fully raw. I'm really looking forward to the rest of my week slowing down a bit and having a bit more time to experiment with like really fun raw foods and seeing what I can do. So yeah, I'm keen for that, that's for sure. I'm gonna have to make some kind of like vegan cheesy flavored dip so I stop craving <laughs> vegan cheese. Oh my goodness. So for lunch today, I was really craving like pasta and cooked food essentially so i decided to try and make the closest thing that i could which is literally just carrot shirt which is literally just shredded carrot uh, with tomatoes mixed through and then i topped it with avocado a homemade cashew cheese and sesame seeds and i'm hoping it tastes good and satisfies me all the raw foodies are also probably going to be like girl what the heck are you actually doing so far today has been another really busy day so i feel like i've just been eating like random stuff i'm usually someone who eats more like a three meal a day type of thing and i've been definitely just like grazing all day i've been finding on a raw food diet today i also had my first struggle of going out to a cafe with my friends i went for a work meeting and everyone was eating like pancakes and fries and burgers and i just ordered a juice and they did raw cheesecakes so that was good to be able to at least have something with like lots of nuts and seeds that kept me nice and full. I'm definitely still feeling really good and really healthy in my body. I just need to figure out some more creative ways of eating because I'm getting pretty bored is probably the best way to describe it. I'm about to go to work again and I am taking with me some of this smoothie which I've already had a bit of. It is just cacao powder, bananas, hemp seeds, spinach, and fresh coconut milk. I am also going to take a mango just because I've noticed that my like palate, I suppose is what you would call it, is just like randomly craving things. So I'm gonna take the mango just in case I start getting sick of chocolate, which I shouldn't, but you never know. Okay, so fully raw day five begins and I'm starting my day with five oranges, which I have chopped up. I'm going to eat this whilst I do some work this morning. <laughs> So, 
fully raw day five and I am officially really craving cooked foods. My skin is seemingly clear from afar but I'm starting to get lots of like small breakouts. I don't know if that's because I'm stressed or if because my body just doesn't agree with 100% raw foods all the time. I don't I don't really know. Yes, definitely craving cooked foods now. Like the idea of having a really starchy dinner is super, super appealing also, to me. Also something I didn't consider is how time consuming it is to eat raw food. Like it takes a lot of time to chop everything up and then actually eating a huge salad is just like a huge commitment really anyway today i went for lunch at raw authentic and they had raw savory food so i ordered two things because i've just been craving something really delicious and savory i had raw nachos and a raw falafel wrap the nachos were way too spicy for me though since i've been home i have just been chilling but got hungry recently so i've been snacking on some raw hazelnuts to me they don't taste as good as roasted hazelnuts but um <laughs> still enjoying snacking on these and i'm thinking for dinner tonight i'm probably gonna go for like a smoothie or an acai bowl or something like that but we will see what happens i'm just you know day five only really two days to go and then i'm back to the old tempeh sweet potato diet One for me and one for Kendo. It is fully raw day six today and I'm actually feeling really good. I feel really like good in my body. I feel really confident. I don't know if it has anything to do with the diet and how well it works for me or if it's just like my headspace, but I'm just feeling really, really good today is basically <laughs> the best way to describe it. I had a smoothie for breakfast and then I made some like bliss ball type of things. These, I just used the pulp left over from making homemade hazelnut milk with some cacao powder, medjool dates and coconut and that's it. They're not the best texture but they're definitely delicious. So I'm gonna probably snack on heaps of these today. I've been craving chocolate as you've probably heard me say a million times already. So I think this is really going to hit the spot. I also have a bit of time today to make something a bit more exciting. So I went to the supermarket and bought some ingredients for something that I think is gonna be really delicious if I pull it off well. So, but overall I am looking forward to the fully raw week being over because I really am just missing cooked foods like I just sort of like to be able to eat whatever I want whenever I want. This challenge so far has given me an appreciation for raw foods and how much you can do with raw food if you really try and how good my body feels eating raw food. I definitely won't commit to it forever but yeah so far feeling good. Can't believe I've lasted six days but there you go. Maybe I'm a new woman. So I saw a few things online where you basically can turn cauliflower into sort of like a rice texture in a Vitamix or whatever. Ew, look at this ugly hair type. Let's get rid of that. Anyway, yeah, I saw online that you can do that with cauliflower and I'm really feeling like I'm going to try and make something similar to like a burrito bowl. Why is this cauliflower so hard to cut? Alright, let's just get in there, shall we? I'm just going to cut this cauliflower roughly I'm really hoping this is gonna work because if it does I'll be so happy I'm going to use my blender and put the cauliflower in so I'm hoping it all turns into like that sort of texture okay so it sort of worked as you can see most of it went to that ricey sort of texture there's just some chunks that wouldn't blend next in the same blender because I am really lazy I'm going to put a handful of cashews, a handful of almonds, the juice of a lemon, maybe half a lemon, I don't know. Let's see how much liquid we get out of this. Okay, there's a clove of garlic going in and I'm also going to put in a splash of H2O. And I'm gonna go blend this now. I'm just going to add, not that piece of spinach, that piece is gross. I'm going to add these pieces of spinach. Then I also made a whole heap of 
guacamole. Okay, this is literally excessive, but I love avocado, so no complaints here, ladies and gentlemen. That is for sure. And then this is the texture that 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 I just made came out. So pretty nice, just a nice creamy sort of dip to add. Ooh, yeah. This is gonna fill me up so good. I wish I'd made this like every single day of this fully raw adventure. And that is what is going to be my afternoon snack today. And we'll see if it gets me all the way through my shift at work tonight. Okay, so here we are at the last day of the fully raw vegan challenge. And I thought I'd use this time to just sort of talk about the experience and my intentions and what I've learned essentially. So basically, and I think obviously I went into this challenge not expecting to enjoy it, but it was surprisingly a lot easier and more enjoyable than I anticipated it being. And overall, because I am someone who prefers to eat intuitively, I definitely wouldn't commit to this diet long term, but it has made me appreciate the fact that the raw diet definitely makes me feel lighter and leaner. And also there are amazing things that you can do with raw food that I didn't think you could do with raw food. My intention going into this experiment was obviously to see how I felt as a raw vegan. But the reason I wanted to document and share it with you all is to show that there are literally so many different vegan sub diets as I like to call them. and. There's no way that one specific diet is going to make every single person on this earth feel their best. I personally eat intuitively, which means that obviously I don't eat any animal products because I don't want to contribute to the suffering of animals or the environment. However, I do eat what I crave and what makes me feel my best as long as they're made from plants. <laughs> I encourage everyone else who wants to become vegan to eat intuitively, eat what they crave and just try and not eat animal products essentially. We're very lucky that we live in a society where almost any animal product that you think of you can get as a vegan alternative. But yeah, there are quite a lot of people in the vegan community who thrive on and love and promote a raw vegan diet, which I think is freaking awesome. I seriously applaud anyone who is raw vegan 24 seven because, uh, yeah, I just personally don't think I could do it. I guess my point is that if you want to go vegan and you are following the diet of someone that you follow online or someone that you know in real life, but you're not finding it's working for you, but you still don't want to contribute to the suffering in the world, then honestly start to listen to your body and recognize that there are so many different ways that you can eat vegan and you never know which one is going to be the one that works for you. When I first became vegan, I ate raw till four and my body didn't really like it. I was constantly hungry. I just wasn't having a good time and it caused me to binge on animal products, on lots of dairy. And over time, I've just learned to honor what my body craves and that tends to be more starchy based foods and lots of healthy fats. This video is the first of a series of video ideas that I have where I spend my time experimenting with different vegan diets. I have a few in mind, but if you do wanna see more of these, let me know down in the comments below a specific niche vegan sub diet that you'd like to see me try. I definitely have both vegan keto and junk food vegan on the cards, but need to do a lot more research into the vegan keto diet before I give it a go. But yeah, that's basically my intention with the video series is to educate you and educate myself on all of the different vegan sub diets that we have here in the internet world. And yeah, experiment with them and see how they work with my body. Anyway, that's a pretty lengthy wrap up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like if you did and subscribe if you are new. And yeah, have an absolutely beautiful week and I will see you on Friday for another video. Have a good one. Bye.